This tutorial is to discuss about a Python program to check a string is pangram or not. A pangram is a sentence that contains all the English alphabets at least once. Before writing the program, we will discuss some of the important logic which is required for this particular program. The string module we are using to create all the English alphabets the string dot ASCII underscore lower case will create all the English alphabets from A to Z and the set keyword will convert each of the alphabets into the set and get stored into the variable small. So small here, variable small consists of set of all the English alphabets from A to Z in smaller case. Now all the different types of relational operators can be used with the set for example, in the example what we have done, we have compared whether small is less than or equal to set of Mumbai. So the set of Mumbai will consist of only the alphabets M, U, M, B, A, I, which is actually smaller than what is the content which is present in the variable small. So it gives the result as false. Because when we can see that in set of Mumbai, we have some set of alphabets which are comparatively lesser than what is their elements which is present in the variable small. Because small consists of all the English alphabets. In the next example, we are comparing small less than or equal to the set of all the English alphabets we have mentioned. So here, the right hand side will consist of at least all the English alphabets once. So it is equal to what is present in the set variable small. That is why it is giving the value true. By using the similar logic we can check an input string is pangram or not. We can create all the English alphabets and we can check whether that is less than or equal to the set of all the alphabets which is present in the user entered string. If the user entered string consists of more number of English alphabets than the set of basic English alphabets then we can say that it is a pangram. In this program we define a method the name of the method is ispangram which takes a parameter. The name of the parameter is st which is used to represent a string. Need to be checked that it is pangram or not. So the variable st needs to be checked that it is a pangram or not. To create all the set of English alphabets, we are using the module string and by using the attribute ASCII dot lowercase we create all the English alphabets which will be in the form of string that will be converted into set so small is a variable which consists of a set of all basic English alphabets which are in lowercase now we are comparing the small is less than or equal to set of st dot lower now st is a string which we are checking whether it is pangram or not now entire content of st will get converted into lower case by the statement st dot lower and the set method will convert all the alphabets all the individual alphabets separately and it will create a set now if set of alphabets which are present in ST, if it is more than the set of English alphabets, then we return, the statement will return, that conditions will return as 
true. If the ST consists of lesser number of alphabets than the English alphabets, then it will return the value as false. Outside the function, an input method is used to take a string from the user and it gets stored into the variable s. The isPangram method is called by using the variable s, which is the input string. It returns the value either true or false. So in the if conditions, if it returns the if isPangram returns the result as true, we print that it is a pangram. Otherwise, in the else conditions, we print the statement, it is not a pangram. Execute and see the program output. During the executions, we have entered the string as Mumbai. So, it is having lesser number of alphabets than the basic English alphabets. And it is showing that it is not a pangram. Now, if you enter a string, The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now this statement consists of all the English alphabets. That's why it is showing the result as it is a pangram. Thank you for watching this video.